Hello everybody. Around one year ago, I posted a video when I completed three years in Canada, I asked for your advice if I should actually apply for the Canadian citizenship or not. To my surprise, more than 300 people commented on that video and almost 95% of you actually suggested that I should definitely go ahead to uh, apply for the citizenship. I should not just keep holding on my uh, you know, Canadian PR, I should go ahead with the citizenship. One year down the line, I haven't applied for it yet. In the last few months, uh, many people have actually asked me if uh, I have applied for it, if I'm already a Canadian citizen now. So in this video, I want to talk exactly about that. I won't uh, stress the video for too long. I will just talk about a few points why I haven't applied for the citizenship yet. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Okay, so the point number one, I'm desperately waiting to go to India once. Uh, I came to Canada around two and a half years ago uh, and after that, you know, all of this COVID lockdown things happened and haven't been able to actually go back to India since then. So I have a couple of assets there, uh, it's like a car and a bike and obviously uh, no one is actually using it at the moment, at least for the last couple of years uh, because I was not there, no one has used it and uh, I want to sell all of those. When I talked about it to my family, uh, my parents, they said that you should definitely do it, but you know how the Indian government offices are if you have to uh, get your uh, you know, car, RC actually transferred to someone else. They might ask for an Aadhaar card or you know different types of uh, identity documents. And if you tell them that you are not an Indian citizen, uh, then they might ask for some bribery or you know things might get complicated. And I'm only planning to go to India for a week or so. So it, things might get also a bit difficult if I don't get it done in the, you know, just a couple of days time. So they suggested that I should actually get all of those things done and then apply for the citizenship. So yes, that's the prime reason, but there are other reasons behind it as well. Reason number two, my parents, my father to be very specific. When I talked to them about getting the citizenship, uh, my father was not very happy about it. And he was like uh, kind of upset because of the fact that he thought that I will never go back to India. Although he has a little idea about it, but uh, things are difficult to accept sometimes. So I wanted that uh, they should come and visit me once before I take that step. They should just, you know, experience this life of uh, living abroad. How are things different from India and why are people so keen to, you know, live abroad? They know the life here is better, but in what terms? The quality of life is so good here that we don't want to go to our home country. Uh, but because they haven't experienced it yet, so they, they don't know about it. Yes, they've heard about it from different people, but I want them to experience all of that. And then after that, uh, you know, take the acceptance that I should actually go ahead with it. But it's been a long time since I've met them, as I told you, uh, you know, two and a half years. So I'm just waiting that if uh, the flights actually get resumed, then after that, I could just go to India, actually just to, you know, um, accompany my parents along with me. And after that, if they spend some time here, then it would definitely be easy for them to understand. And hopefully they would be happy with that decision as well. So yeah, those are the two main reasons, but there are two other reasons as well. The third one being the fact that until now, the uh, applying for the Canadian citizenship was through a paper application and it was announced last year that Canada would actually start uh, using the online portal for applying the Canadian citizenship as well. So I was actually waiting for it, uh, you know, along with the other factors that if in the next couple of months, if they start the online applications as well, it would be a lot easier. I've had a, you know, pretty difficult experience of uh, actually applying for the, uh, for my wife's PR through the paper application and uh, it was not a very enjoyable experience so i was wondering if they could actually start uh, the uh, online application for citizenship as well and yes last month they actually started it so we can apply for the citizenship uh, online so yes hopefully i would be doing that very soon okay so yes the last reason behind it not a very important reason but yes still a reason uh, when Trudeau came into power two years ago, he promised that he would actually waive off the citizenship fees, which is around six to seven hundred dollars, which is not a very big deal. Uh, but I was waiting that, you know, if anyways, I, due to all the other reasons, I have to wait for a few months. 
then maybe I could save those six, seven hundred dollars. But until now, that hasn't happened. There are another elections, uh, you know, this month only, the federal elections. Uh, whatever happens does not matter much, uh, you know, in this decision. I won't actually wait because of that reason uh, to apply for the citizenship. But yes, that was also a small thing that was there in my mind that uh, if I just wait for a few more months, then I would be able to uh, save a few hundred dollars. Okay, so now the question, am I going to apply it now? Uh, actually, in the last couple of months, I've been very disappointed by the fact that the Canadian government has been extending this flight ban. Um, so, of course, I won't be able to go to India if they extend it again. The flight prices are super expensive, so I'll have to wait for it for a few more months. So, I'm just thinking I should just go ahead with it right now. And anyways, in the time span of one year, um, hopefully when I, by the time I get it, I should be able to, you know, get all of these things resolved and get my parents here as well so he gets to experience uh, you know all of this lifestyle and uh, hopefully i will be able to convince my father as well that uh, this is actually a noble decision and now i actually i also wonder if i'd applied for uh, the citizenship one year ago by now i would have got it and it would have been a lot easier for me to travel to canada from india because you know about that negative rt pcr test from the third country without any inconveniences at least not too many inconveniences i would have got the uh, test report and traveled to canada so yes i regret that decision actually that i didn't apply for the citizenship earlier but anyways it's fine i'm thinking of applying the citizenship uh, at least in the next uh, few weeks so you might be seeing a couple of videos on that uh, so just let me know in the comment section below if there's something you need to know about the uh, canadian citizenship how to apply it I will definitely try to make a video on it based on my experience. That's it for this video guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Sometimes it feels very good to talk to you guys about my personal things as well. Thanks a lot uh, for your support, for your love. Keep showering your love on the new channel Dreamers Abroad. I'll provide the link to that channel in the description box below. Thanks again for watching this video.